what we like, the Odyssey continues to impress with its refinement and ability to soak up hundreds of highway miles with ease. That doesn't change with lots of people and stuff aboard, as Assistant Buyer's Guide editor Annie White proved, stuffing the van with six people, six suitcases, six sleeping bags, a cooler, and several grocery bags of comestibles on a trip to northern Michigan. She and her travel companions remained comfortable and connected as has our staff on other journeys thanks to the van's heated and ventilated front seats, spacious second and third row accommodations, multiple USB ports, and onboard Wi-Fi. Other drivers have praised the hushed cabin, which is even quieter due to our Elite Trim's extra sound deadening material compared with lesser Odysseys. The Elite gets acoustically treated window glass in each of the vehicle's four doors, as well as thicker carpet and additional lining in the wheel wells. We also like that our first service, at $71, didn't break the bank, it was performed at just over 8,000 miles and involved an oil change, tire rotation, and various inspections. What we don't like, yet for all this, the Honda's logbook contains plenty of negative comments and not just from our staff's about cranks. Most of the notes lament the fact that the Odyssey doesn't have stow and go second row seating like the Chrysler Pacifica that also currently occupies a spot in our long term lot. After wrestling a single seat in and out of the Honda, features editor Jeff Sabatini declared, simply, stow and go for life. Deputy online editor Dave Vanderwerp was more verbose, I was missing stow and go after a furniture purchase over the weekend while carrying five occupants. In the Pacifica, I could have stowed one second row bucket and the small side of the third row and fit the TV stand, while still comfortably seating all three kids. Instead, I was forced to slide the second row all the way forward, pinching the kids' legroom, and then place the stand in at an angle. Even then it didn't fit, and I had to secure the lift gate with twine. Advantage Pacifica We note that these comments come from drivers and not anyone forced to sit in the Pacifica's far less comfortable second row stow and go seats. Still, this critical lack of interior flexibility played a role in an Odyssey finishing second to a Pacifica in our most recent minivan comparison test. What went wrong, just one fault has popped up, but it has done so multiple times, on three occasions, all after remote starting the Odyssey, the infotainment screen has stayed blank upon startup. Cycling the ignition, and in one case just leaving the screen alone for a few minutes, remedied the problem, but this is not the behavior we've come to expect from a Honda. In addition, Honda issued a recall for the third row center seat belt tongue, as it may fail to latch properly, we had no such problem with our van, but the repair was performed during the first service visit. Where we went, 